newborns. I'm dropping in a lang with some important information about how to look after your library books so that they're a fit for either folk to borrow after you read them. And all those things is happened, though in or twice he'd maybe a bit of a spin putting on the tail. So, a list of do nots and what happens if you do. Do not use library books as costers. They might have shiny covers, but just see what a mark a mug can leave. Do not pick up a library book as the nearest thing to hand to prop a window open. Please do not use them to make steps to reach into a cupboard. Good for neither the books or the pity person on the wobbly steps. Do not pick up a highlighter to mark something that does interest it in. Some in either might not appreciate that. Never, ever take a library book in your hands at bath time. They can recover for the crunkles of that damp and dry process. Do not leave a book a hunt on the picnic table outside. A book can really survive wind and or rain. In the house, try not to drop crumbs out of a book when a cookie or a biscuit might seem to be good company for the reader, not good for the book. Just don't ever use a book for a plate. Clatchy stuff will ruin it forever. Did that really happen? Maybe. Then there are bookmarks. The staff has found some odd items, too horrible to mention here, inside returned books. About a paper or a leaf is not being the worst. If you don't hate a bookmark, don't resort to flatching the book out open. That's bad for the spine of the book. And please, please, do not turn in corners. Do not attack the books with crayons or pencils when there are a page that looks as if it could be drawn on. Do not build them a book like a bar, even if it is a fun to pass a book on to someone else. Books should not be used by either babies or puppies to try their teeth out on. Finally, one for myself, as well as are you, mind and put books back when you hide them for a bra start. And don't forget, reading is very, very good for you.